Would you like to know how to set up a stream bot for your next broadcast? Are you really not sure what a stream bot is? Well, I'm gonna give you more details in today's video, so make sure that you stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dale, and this is Live Streaming Tech, and if you wanna learn more about live streaming online, be it YouTube, Twitch, DLive, and beyond, make sure that you subscribe, turn that bell notification on so you don't miss a single video. I have found a fun new little tool, and it's not just fun for me, but it's fun for a lot of my live viewers. It's a stream bot. Now, not to be confused, it's not like you have a robot by your side, it's just someone that's going to be able to kind of manage things in your stream so that way you're not having to stop and drop a link when you somebody asks for a link or you know get it to where they're having to do any extra work you just you have to focus on streaming that's hard enough as it is so having a stream bot helps mitigate any of that time or any of that loss that you would otherwise have trying to engage with your audience via the camera or playing a game or doing a podcast, whatever it is that you're doing. So I'm gonna refer you over to one of my preferred platforms in Stream Elements. You can just head over to streamelements.com. I don't have an affiliate link at this point. You know, it's just, it's a nice place. So just check it out. In any event, uh, let's get behind the dashboard because we're going to want to set up an account for this. Whatever your platform could be, it could be used for YouTube or even Twitch. We're going to get behind the dashboard without any further ado. Okay, so now we're here in behind my dashboard and you can see I logged in with my YouTube account. Uh, I, we could go and hit the drop down here. Now, most likely if you don't see uh, these filled out, you probably have to log in on those individual ones and it'll kind of group everything together. I'm gonna go behind my YouTube dashboard because it has where a lot of my stuff that I'm already using. On the left-hand side, you can kind of go through some of these things. I have already got my OBS Live integrated with uh, stream elements, so it makes life a little easier having the same stream bot. Keep in mind though, uh, I use Streamlabs OBS at one point or another and actually still use Stream Elements for their bots, so it's not a big deal. We're going to start out with modules. Now, this is going gonna, gonna to vary from one platform to the next and what they have. So, for instance, there's one set up for modules. This increases engagement with interactive chat, games, and tools. Now, if you don't want people messing around with, say, an 8-ball, it's kind of like a little fun thing where you ask it a question and it'll kind of populate answers. So you can see there are some here, sure, are you kidding? I actually was able to toss in another one, so I could probably even put in another one for an answer, meh, whatever. There we go, so if somebody happens to randomly pull that one, meh, whatever. So um, there's two little settings here, and this is gonna kind of apply as we go forward in all of the bots commands. There's user cooldown, and then there's global cooldown. Now, user cooldown means the number of seconds that you're going to get it to where that person takes a break from using that. So in other words, they're not gonna be able to go and hit the exclamation point eight ball back to back. They're not gonna keep rapid firing things. It gets a bit obnoxious and you don't want that to happen. You wanna get it to where it's a fun tool but it's not taking away from your stream. Now, next thing is global cooldown. This really kind of dictates whether everybody else can use it. You can see I have it set on zero because I don't want everybody else stopped because one person used the eight ball. So maybe everybody gets excited. They all want to see what the eight ball has to offer. Maybe something I say inside the chat, like, hey, who all wants to know what, you know, your prediction's gonna be for the magic eight ball? And they go ahead and they put theirs in there and they'll find out what their what their answer is gonna be to their question. Hopefully it's not gonna be meh, whatever. Uh, but you can see how simple this is, and it just it randomly pulls these things out. So um, there's one of those things for YouTube, and this also applies to Twitch as well. There's also stream tweets in real time in your YouTube chat. You can see you can put replies and retweets. I'm just gonna stick with this for right now. And then there's chat alerts. Get notified in chat whenever an activity happens. So you have subscribers, tips, members, and redemption. So if somebody subscribes to your YouTube channel, it'll put it in here, thanks for subscribing and in happy phase. You can really customize this at all that you want to. Uh, maybe I can put hope to hear more from you soon. There we go. 
and we can add additional messages if we wanted to, but eh, this is this is gonna work for right now. If somebody does any kind of tips, if you get any new members, which that's for higher tier YouTube channels, and any kind of redemptions. All right, so that's the modules. And as I mentioned, if you were to switch over to Twitch, those modules change. So under the modules, you'll see there's far more for Twitch. It's a lot more robust. Go through, read through some of those things and see if it makes sense to you and if it makes sense to the stream that you're doing. We're gonna go back over to the YouTube settings. All right, next one's chat commands. This is the one that's the most fun. You have custom commands, default commands, and variables. I just, I'm gonna focus on custom commands and default commands. Starting out underneath default commands, these are gonna be the things like, for instance, the magic eight ball, exclamation point eight ball. If you wanna really go in and change a little bit of the actions, Here's the nice thing is you can come on in here, you can set the cooldown for both the user and global. Uh, you can have specific aliases, so command aliases, alternate ways to trigger the command. So if somebody happens to say eight ball in the course of their thing, it will actually predict something for them. Uh, so be careful on this one because if someone just happens to be talking about the eight ball, then your bot's gonna start to go, oh, hey, I'm gonna give you a prediction, meh, whatever, and it's gonna start to seem really obnoxious. Uh, there's also other expressions you can kind of put to this, but for the most part, I just try to keep it clean and leave it as such. This is one that I'm trying to get my viewers to understand that, hey, if you want to know more about how to control my bot and get it to do some things for you, just hit exclamation point commands. In fact, I actually made this into one of my custom commands. That would be the perfect segue, but I'm going to save that here in just a minute on one of my timers. So let's go to custom commands. Here's the really cool thing about the custom commands. You can create a lot of commands in here. You see, I have it just absolutely full. We're going to hit new command. Let's say that I want to share my live streaming tech channel to people. Now, you don't need to put the exclamation point. They're going to automatically do that for you. I can put down, let's say, YouTube. All right, so anytime someone puts exclamation point YouTube, it'll pull up this response. And it could be something as simple as, hey, check me out on YouTube. At, and then enter your your um your specific link and make sure you do the full link you don't want to just say for instance say youtube.com you got to do the HTTPS so on and so forth all right before you hit submit click the drop down for show advanced this is where we're gonna go ahead and just tweak a few things so it has the user cooldown automatically set on 15 seconds I, I trust my users that they're not gonna be just blowing up the chat and something like this so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it at five seconds. Now for a global cooldown, it seems to me that not everybody needs to be dropping this a ton. All they need to do is scroll back through the chat and they'll be able to see this. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a 60 second break. So that way everybody's not going in and just eating up this particular one. Now in the event that you have no problem with everybody blowing up the chat, you can always hit zero. Again, keywords. So let's just say if somebody types in live streaming tech so if somebody types that into the chat at any point like hey I love that your channel live streaming tech if that's said in the course of the the video chat um, the bots gonna go hey check out my YouTube channel on blah 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 and that is really one of the coolest features it can get a little overboard okay the next one's gonna be spam filters now I don't mess around with this too much because I already have a lot of that stuff taken care of in my YouTube dashboard I just think the stream bot doesn't really need to be worrying about this, but in the event that you want to get some things kind of covered, so like you don't like having caps, somebody putting all caps in there, you can do that. Uh, fair warning though, someone's like putting in like an abbreviation, they're not shouting at you, they might be just doing an abbreviation. So like OBS for instance, it's not that someone's shouting at you. You know, you got emote protection, you want to put banned keywords in there, you can put your filter set at a certain level. Again, I just kind of have all this already dialed in on my YouTube channel as well as on Twitch. Now Facebook, it might be a good idea to get that spam filter dialed in. We're gonna go to the timers next. Now this is the fun part. Remember I said we were going to segue over and I'd mentioned telling you something about the commands? Well, I've got these timers set up. Now the timers are set up in a way that your stream bot just kind of just says, hey, you should check out this. And it's just kind of based on the amount of chat that's going on and the time that was last done. So as a, for instance, instructions for commands. Let me hit this little pencil down here. 
and it's going to say, hey, I'm Dale's personal stream bot. Want to know how to activate special features in the command? And it shows people how to do this. And I'm going to set it up to where it does it every 12 minutes when I'm online. I shut it for when I'm offline. Oddly enough, this goes in my live video chat whether I'm online or offline. So it seems kind of weird when I have my stream bot just like, hey, just kind of lurking about on there. So I just shut things for offline. Chat lines here, you see it says four lines. So that means there needs at least be four different lines of chat in order for this specific timer to go off over in a live video. This kind of gives a little bit of breathing room. So that way there's not just, you know, the first person chatting stream elements and all you see is nothing but stream elements. If you've got about four lines of chat though, that hopefully indicates that there's some people hanging out and already watching your stream. You can kick that all the way up if you want to and you can kick it all the way back. It's completely up to you. You're gonna kinda know the more that you stream, the more that you have your stream bot, how long you kinda want them to wait. Just hit submit when you're all done. Again, if you're going to do a new timer, you just walk through the whole process, kind of like what we did with the chat commands. We'd put the message in there. We'd put the name. Now, see, the name is not something anybody's going to see. So let's just say, for instance, the name LST. Here we go. And I'll say, hey, check out blah, blah, blah. And we would put this, let's say, every five minutes. That's good. But we're going to do this after there's about 26 inside the, the line. So. This isn't going to be a command that's going to fire off until there's at least 26 lines of chat. And then it's going to fire off every five minutes thereafter. You'd hit submit once when you're done, but I'm not going to keep that because it's completely weird. Speaking of streaming online, I talked a little bit about YouTube and I talked about Twitch, but what about Facebook? Actually, one of our most popular videos that's really hot right now is how to set up your Streamlabs OBS settings for Facebook Live. I want to meet you on over there right about now and I'll see you. What are you waiting for? Seriously, click it, click it up there, right there, or, or get that one. If you're a rebel, hit that one. I would recommend this one. See ya.